Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to go through numbers up to 100 and we're going to use the number grid. Let's have a quick look at the number grid now. There it is from number 1 to number 100. 1 being the smallest and 100 being the largest. We're going to come back to this in a moment when we look at our first example. Now suppose we have these three numbers. We've got 65, 82, and 75. And the question is, you have to, let's just draw the boxes in, reorder these from the smallest to the largest. Now if you followed our previous tutorials I'm sure most of you or some of you would have worked this out already. We're going to go through this nice and slow to make sure that we understand it. Here is a number grid. Let's have a look at our three numbers. Now I want you to find each of these numbers and I want you to do this find each of these numbers on the number grid. First of all, find number 65. I found it, have you? Just put your finger on it. The next one is 82. Now find number 82. And lastly, find number 75. Now it goes in rows. We got 1, and then we got 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, all the way to 90s. Which number is the smallest, Just and you should know this, just by the row that you're on? Is it 65? Is it 82? Or 75? That's right, it is 65. It's the 6. That is the smallest number. Have a look at the number grid again. You've now got two numbers left. 82 and 75. Now which row is the closest to the first row? Is it 75 or is it 82? Well that's right, the closest one is beginning with 7. It's 75. Now that leaves the last one which is 82. Now using the number grid, it really is as simple as that. Once you've got the number grid, you know how to use it. You can work these out, not just three numbers. We've got three numbers over here, but not just three. If you've got four, five, six numbers, you can use the number grid and come to the answer very, very quickly. Let's just have a quick look at our second example. Now suppose you've got these three numbers, 77, 56, and 94. Now those are our three numbers and the question is asking you to wait for it. We're just going to draw the boxes in first as you would normally see in a workbook or in an exam. You have to reorder these from the largest to the smallest. Okay. Now, so the largest to the smallest. There is our number grid. So I want you to find number 77. Then find number 56. And lastly, find number 94. Now don't forget, we're looking at the largest number first. So which one appears at the row at the bottom? Well, that's nice and easy. It is 94. So that's, that is our largest number, 94. So we've done 94, we're left with 77 and 56. Again, let's have a look at the number grid. So we've got 77 and 56. Have you found them? Now which one appears lower down, i.e. is near the bottom? And that's quite easy. Again, it's 77. And that leaves the last one, 56. 
And that is how we use the number grid to order numbers up to 100. It is very, very simple. Do some practice with the practice questions and you'll master this very, very quickly.